In this video, we are going to learn how to publish a Blazor WebAssembly application in Azure Storage. The only requisite that we need to meet with our Blazor WebAssembly application is that this one is that this one cannot be hosted in ASP.NET Core. In the past, we did an application with this characteristic, and it is our rock, paper, and scissors application. This was a game that we created a while ago that was a Blazor WebAssembly application that was not served from an ASP.NET Core web application. Since in Azure Storage, we can only serve static files, and since a Blazor WebAssembly application is a static site, then that means that we can use Azure Storage for serving our Blazor WebAssembly application. For that, the first thing that we need to do is to go to portal.azure.com, and let's go to Storage Accounts, Let's create a new one. We're going to use a subscription for resource group. I'm going to create a new one, rock, paper, and scissors, rock, paper, and scissors. It is going to be East USA. Although you can choose whatever location is closer to you. I'm going to select a standard general purpose B2, and this is all okay. And let's go to review and create, create. And now let's go to the resource. And let's go to a static website because we need to enable this as a static website in order to be able to use it to serve static websites. Here we are going to say index.html and index.html. Save. And here we have the endpoint through which we'll be able to access our website. Now our next step is to upload our application into Azure Storage. For that, we are going to use Azure Storage Explorer. We can use Azure Storage Explorer to upload our website into Azure Storage. This is a free tool, so you can just download it and use it, and it works for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. I already downloaded it and installed it, so I am going to open it. Here we are in Azure Storage Explorer, and I can go to my account. I can look for Rock, Paper, and Scissors blob containers and here we are going to have a web directory and here is where we have to put our application so now we have to go back to our rock paper and scissors folder let's go to the project here where we have our CS brush and I am going to shift right click open PowerShell window here because I want to publish this application using the dotnet GLI. so we are going to say dotnet publish configuration release and with this we are going to generate our application so that it is ready to be published into Azure Storage and the process has finished so let's exit this let's go to bin release net standard publish rock paper and scissors dist and these are the final files of our application we have our three images index.html, CSS, and framework. This is what we have to upload through the Windows Storage Explorer. So what we are going to do is that we are going to go back here, we are going to minimize this a little bit, and we will drag everything from here to here. And this is going to start the uploading of our application. As you can see, the upload has been completed, but there is something that we have to do. We have to go to framework, Wasm, and we need to change the content type of this Mono Wasm file. So let's right click here, properties, let's go down here, and let's change this to application Wasm, save. You can go back and into Wasm again, and here you can see that we have application Wasm, and that's it. With this, we have our application published in Azure Storage. Let's see it. Let's go here. Let's take our endpoint and let's open it here. And as you can see, we have our application and we can play with it. And I lost. But the important thing is that we have published a WebAssembly application in Azure Storage, which means that we are going to spend less money by having it published. Finally, I won. 
If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want me to cover next. Thanks.